With the Japanese yen being relatively weak to the US dollar, many people are choosing Japan as a popular vacation destination this year. But recently, reports have emerged everywhere of a rare and deadly flesh-eating bacterium proliferating in various regions of Japan, accompanied by a rather severe set of symptoms. As of June 2nd of this year, Japan's Ministry of Health has already documented 977 cases of this disease in the country, with a mortality rate reaching up to a disturbing 30%, and already 77 deaths between January and March. This ongoing outbreak has already surpassed last year's record of 941 preliminary infections by this bacterial strain, it already the highest incidence since records took place back in 1999. So, given the highly contagious and fatal nature of this bacterial infection sweeping across Japan, are the people there doing okay? The bacterium in question is one that's characterized by its spherical shape and its tendency to form elongated chains with one another, known as Streptococcus pyogenes. And if this name sounds familiar at all, it's the pathogen responsible for causing pharyngitis, or a throat infection, commonly known as strep throat. And although strep throat is a common form of infection from streptococcal bacteria, it's not the only kind that's out there, as streptococcal infections are any type of infection caused by the streptococcal or strep group of bacteria. And there's a number of different streptococci variations, which create symptoms ranging from mild throat infection to life-threatening infections of the blood or organs. The many different strains of streptococci bacteria can be classified through two different main ways. The first way is by separating them into Lancefield classification groups. Depending on various properties, like what sort of carbohydrates are present in their cell wall, and by looking at their infection symptoms when a person gets sick. Streptococcus pyogenes belongs to a collection of strep bacteria known as Group A Streptococcus, which causes anything from mild infection symptoms to really invasive disease-like complications, which we'll touch on in just a second. We can also separate them by the bacterial activity when they're placed on something called blood agar. By looking at these blood agar plates and seeing how the bacterial enzymes damage or lyse the red blood cells on that plate, we can categorize the different bacterial strains into three different types based on the degree of hemolysis. There are three outcomes that can happen. The first is alpha hemolysis. This is the reduction of the red blood cell hemoglobin component to methemoglobin in the medium where the bacterial colonies bruise the surrounding cells, which then causes this green or brown discoloration or halo in the agar plate. If the result looks like the blood agar has nothing done to it, the bacterial strain is gamma hemolytic, noted by the lack of notable zones around the colonies as no blood cells have been destroyed. And then there's beta hemolysis, which Streptococcus pyogenes is a part of, and this is defined by the complete or true lysis of the red blood cells. There's a clear zone around the bacterial colonies in this case, which approach the color and transparency of the base agar medium. Yeah, Mr. White! Yes, science! So we now know that Streptococcus pyogenes lyses blood cells and infects hundreds of millions of people each year. But is it dangerous? What about those alarming articles that have been coming out of Japan recently? The phenomenon of this bacteria killing people in just two days is actually not the infection itself, but a rather rare complication of the Group A Streptococcus infection known as Toxic Shock Syndrome. Group A bacteria normally doesn't cause severe complications in the body if it's just sitting on the surface of your skin, but infections can become an issue when it gets into places of the body that are normally sterile, like your bloodstream, muscle, bone, and cerebral spinal fluid. This then turns a benign Group A strep bacteria into an invasive Group A strep infection. The Streptococcus Toxic Shock Syndrome, or STSS, is what's currently happening in Japan, and this variation can quickly become lethal as it can have a systemic effect on your body. Toxic shock is a cluster of symptoms that involves many systems in your body, so when Streptococcus pyogenes gets access to your organs and muscles, it has a chance to release bacterial toxins into those systems, which can cause severe damage and illness. Now let's address the flesh-eating part. Streptococcus pyogenes is what people like to call a flesh-eating bacteria, mainly because it secretes enzymes that lead to tissue necrosis or necrotizing fasciitis. Infections like this are usually caused by damage to the skin, and if the wound is deep enough, the bacteria can get into the muscle and connective tissue, which then causes a lot of issues. And this necrotizing effect happens fast. Because it now has access to the bloodstream and in turn access to multiple organs, the bacterial infection spreads like wildfire, which is why systemic organ failure is even possible in a 48-hour period. But all of this is rare. 
Even with the record-breaking numbers coming out of Japan and the alarming news headlines, this isn't too big of an issue for most people. Natural immunity will be strong enough to combat the more severe side effects of the bacterial infection, and if you're in good health, only the minimal symptoms will be an issue if you're infected. So if you're thinking of going to Japan, go to Japan.